morning folks. This uh, soap is brought to us from Ben Lane, Holiday Berries. And uh, I'm not going to be able to find this one. I don't even think you'll find it on buy sell trade. I've had this one for a little while. And this is what the soap looks like on the inside. You can see my berries there trying to fall out. <laughs> it's pretty nice soap. I've got it whipped up over here in a bowl with a uh, rubber shave brush. Whipped up pretty good. This is um, this soap is uh, very much on the, uh, I guess you might say, the creamy side. It's really easy to lather up. Got the Allen Block No Rubber Van. Still sporting the uh, Black Ice uh, Witch Hazel that's methylated from Sterling. And the aftershave I'm going to follow up with today is from Vanya Lane. It's called Holiday Sparkle. And like the rest of her, you definitely want to shake it up before you use it. And that's also a, a witch hazel based as opposed to alcohol based. And also following up with the off camera with the uh, Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. And starting to get down to the very bottom there. I've already put a hot towel in the face this morning and still got a little bit of the cube left. And uh, going to get started here. Uh, the blade I'll be using today is a uh, Treat uh, DuraSharp and it comes double wrapped and uh, does not have a wax spot or a glue spot for the paper on the blade if that matters to you. The shaver of the day is going to be the Parker Variant. It's an adjustable and it looks, it has some similarities to the uh, Record progress that I used yesterday. There's some slight differences here and there, but you'll see the similarities. The uh, channels are pretty well wide open. Really, not much of a chance of uh, things clogging up, especially if you're using the higher setting. And I'll be. Uh, as goes for settings, I'll be using the, um, going with the, the 5, 4, and 3 settings. The dials on the bottom on this particular shaver. And um, it's relatively easy to use this, a lot like the Mercury Progress. The handle's a bit longer than the uh, progress. Uh, there's the channels that I was referring to. And also the, uh, you can kind of see where the markings are at, a lot like the progress as it goes for how you line the base cap and the, the base plate and the top cap up. <laughs> One of the differences is on the bottom here, you can see there's channels for water or lather or whatever the case might be to flow through. And uh, the Progress did not have uh, those channels down there on, on the bottom side of the base plate. Uh, like I said, this handle is a little bit longer than the one I used yesterday. So it has a little bit more weight to it. And, uh, yep, you can kind of see there's the setting of five. This one here, when I, actually when I ordered this one, <laughs> oddly enough, this is not the one I ordered. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's one of those... Um, Situations where I ordered a Parker variant, but I ordered the one with uh, the black handle. And this one was sent to me by mistake. And uh, I kept it. I was happy to get one because it was when they first come out. I mean, very first came out. And uh, I wasn't uh, willing to send it back to get a black handled one. Or to wait for a black handled one when they became back in stock. Um, shortly thereafter is when the, some people were posting that the black was coming off on their handle. So it worked out very well for me. Now I don't know if those issues still exist or not. Or if it's uh, still a, an existing problem. Maybe it doesn't happen. <coughs> Excuse me as soon as uh, <laughs> as the previous models did but it does come come in this this model right here which I've not heard anybody 
have any issues with the plating or anything like that. Um, haven't heard anybody having issues with the black either of recent history. But, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, I'm just not hearing about it. I'll have a link down below for a place to find these. These are a bit more expensive than when I first got mine. So I guess you might say that's something to consider when you're shopping around for an adjustable. But it sure does feel good um, for an adjustable razor. Sometimes, you know, you might want to, I guess you might say, plan for a certain time of the year. <laughs> See if you can get a better bargain. This one here, this shaver here, definitely falls in that category. Uh, letting the weight of the rate, the shaver and the sharpness of the blade uh, do the work for you. Because, um, really, just gentle pressure, let it glide on across the face. It, it, it's taking it right on off. I'm going to go ahead and adjust from 5 to 4 before I forget. This soap whipped up pretty easy. It was, to uh, be honest with you, it whipped up closer to a cream than it did a soap. I mean, it was lickety split. I had this lather worked up. Yeah, that took off quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I should say, these that I treat... Uh, Dur sharps also, I think they're from, yeah, they come in a pack of ten. In a cardboard box. Smells great. I like this so. Being holiday berries. Also, you saw the color of the soap in the container, and it does whip up a little bit on the beige side. I have not had any issues with it staining the bristles in my brush either, if that's something that might enter somebody's mind about this darker colored soap. Like um, Razor Rock's, uh, what, Black Bay whips up green? That's green. <laughs> it doesn't stain. <laughs> that is some green soap, that's for sure. This is a, not quite as wet as I normally whip it up. This one, the soap uh, takes some water. At least uh, that's my experience with it. All right, so I don't know if you can see if they're setting for going across the green. To me, I think it, uh, if you're choosing in between a progress... And a Parker variant. I think it's going to be more along the lines of your decision and deciding on the handle length it might be one of them, unless it is one of those plastic knobs. Uh, if you feel like that's going to be a problem for you, but I can tell you this much: if you drop this on your toe, you're going to know it. Also have a, a link down below. Um, I usually will try to put several different kind of links down there, uh, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, for instance, somebody that has another uh, review of the shaver. I'll try to include it if I run across one. Some are a little bit shorter than others. This one here is rather lengthy, but for somebody that's really looking for a lot of detailed information. This one here will have quite a bit of the thoughts on uh, on this particular shaver. Um, for me, it works well. I really like it. If I had to choose between the two of them, I just now went ahead and adjusted to the third. It's number three. 
if I had to choose between them, and to be honest with you, I think it had a lot to do with just the, the price. Both of them work rather well. Also, I don't think I mentioned it yesterday. When I uh, go to load this blade in either one of these shavers, I uh, load them upside down, if you will. So the cap is laying in my hand. Put the blade on top of the cap, then I take the rest of the handle, why not set it on top, and then I'll hold it and tighten it up that way. Just It allows more of the weight of the razor to start threading. just seems to work pretty smooth that way for me. And as it goes for alignment, it work, works just fine. I haven't heard Thor this morning, so he must be already outside. Notice he's starting to get a little plump, so maybe he's finding a few more uh, wildlife out there to be feasting on. He's, uh, he was pretty funny. Yesterday morning, I had no more cuts started. Got ready to get ready to start the camera. And he's over here underneath the door with his paws underneath the door, swatting at my, my leg, trying to get my attention. <laughs> he's such an honorary cat. It'll push the puppies out of their bed where they sleep at. Speaking of puppies. Like I said, you're trying to decide in between the two of them. It might be the prize. Unless a longer handle, shorter handle is really an issue. The knurling on the handle is uh, fairly rounded. It doesn't feel sharp on the on the hand. Provides plenty of grip. That could be another thing with about the uh, progress, but with that short handle, and I put my little finger underneath the knob. I don't have any issues hanging on to it, but for somebody that doesn't work with that style of shaving, I can understand it being being troublesome with the progress. This one here, I don't have any trouble hanging on to it. You kind of see what I'm talking about, those channels. They stay pretty clean. I guess you might consider it a clog proof, if you will. I think even with the, uh, oh, uh, like Jim Co and uh, Sensi Shave when they were doing the dual beard shave off, uh, you can kind of tell that that uh, it worked out all right. Even with that kind of growth, that's a pretty good shaver. You really can't complain about it. I don't know if all three models are available. In other words, this one here is one version, the black handled, and I think there's a rose gold. I don't think that one's in stock. Um, so if you're looking for the rose gold, you may have to wait a moment or two for that one. This one here, like I said, I haven't had anybody say they had issues with the, uh, uh, with the plating. Parker also has a uh, an offering with a their open comb and then their uh, standard uh, safety bar with a rose gold handle. You get both plates together. I look at it from time to time. <laughs> rose gold looks good. My R41 is the rose gold handle, and it is it is beautiful. To me, it makes all the difference in the world on how that shaver looks. Another smooth shave. Yesterday, no stinging today. I mean, just none. None whatsoever. Just a really nice shave. And you can kind of tell I've been moving in between blades. Um, it, you know, you, you get pretty good shaves. That's all you can really say about it. That's a... Uh, can't say that with uh, some shavers where 
Some blades will work okay and some blades not so much. Been swapping in and out of blades on these shavers and still get really nice shaves. But I've also uh, had some experience with the, uh, these blades in that anything that doesn't work well is not here. <laughs> it doesn't stick around very long. I've had some blades that even though I didn't get any weepers or anything like that, but it was not a smooth shave. Um, for me, my uh, uh, Dorco, <clears throat> excuse me, is the uh, the blade that uh, really prompted me to start hunting for other blades when I first started. I had a few of them. As a matter of fact, I think I still have them. Um, not the smoothest shave. You can shave with them. I shave with them. They, you can you can shave with them. It's just that it's not a very smooth shave, and uh, it prompted me to look for another blade or other blades to see if I could find one that was smoother. And at that point in time, I hadn't bought any uh, Persona blades. Found some, bought a hundred pack, and uh, been one of my go-to blades ever since. But uh, there's a number of other blades over time that I have found that work just as well as a Persona as a go-to blade that no matter, seems like whatever shaver I put it in, shaves just fine. And uh, so far this uh, Treat uh, DuraSharp is one of them that I haven't had any issues with. Treat also makes a, a one that's called Trig. Um, it's referred to as Silver Edge. I get pretty good shaves with that one too. And I, yeah, it comes in a 10 pack if I remember right. Oh, yeah, this goes for the stricter. That's how big it is. I've used this aftershave before. I like this one. Definitely has that uh, that holiday theme, if you will. It's not a dark uh, aftershave by any means. It's got a, a little bit of a fruit scent to it. Something else in it. Uh, um, I don't think it's vanilla. It might be vanilla. It could be. Um, not eggnog, though. There was a part of me that was kind of thinking that, but the more I got to thinking about it, no, it's not eggnog. I think it might be vanilla. Anyhow, it definitely is that, that holiday-type scent. I thought it would go well with these berries. This is really good. So, uh, she's had, she had it on her website for a while, and I latched on to it, and uh, glad I did. Unfortunately, it's like, say, it's not available anymore, so... Uh, I don't think you're going to find any buy sell trade. I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm not saying <clears throat> it may be out there, but I think most people have uh, probably had it for a moment and worked their way through the, the tub. At any rate, I had a very good shave today with this shaver. I'll go ahead and show you. It's just done, if you have not seen this in action before, just unscrews from the bottom, if you will, and then the top comes just right off like that. So you can kind of see. That's what the blade looks like there on the inside. You can see what I was talking about, how I just light it up like that, my hand, and then I put this on top and tighten it up that way. You do want to make sure you pay attention to the marks. And this one here on the camera may be kind of hard to see, but it is right there, and it is on the base right there. You definitely want to line those up. Um, it'll probably let you know if you don't have them lined up. And what I mean by that, it may feel kind of awkward it may not want feel like it's going to tighten up like it should. It may feel, feel some resistance. Um, but just line them up and see that it, there's nothing to it. And what I do also is I run it all the way down to the number one spot. In other words, as far down as it'll go. And then I adjust up to the setting that I want to start with. But anyhow, that's my method of uh, working with this shaver. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shades to you.